Okay, with uh, Dean Burrell and coach, how do you think the uh, team performed after yet another win against Haringey? Um, we did what we had to do, and we went in. Um, you know, we didn't. We weren't allowed to dominate in the first period. Um, despite the scoreline, I think that they showed signs of improvement. They had more depth. Um, you know, they were a bit harder to break down. I, I think. Uh, Unfortunately, once we started to get rolling, um, you know, I think we, we, we showed that we were possibly a bit more fit and uh, I think the heads maybe went down a little bit. But, they, you know, they improved quite a bit and, um, you know, I think if they just stick together, they, they'll, they'll, you know, they could cause some upsets, especially in their barn. Um, for us, yeah, it took, us a, it took us a period to get into it, we changed a couple of bits and then we moved on and uh, you know, we were able to break them down a bit more easier. And looking ahead to like Sunday against your old team, Stretch and Redskins, like, what are your expectations for this weekend's game? Yeah, Stretch and um, you know, they're, 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 they're going to be tough cookies, I know, I mean, obviously I know quite a few of the players that are there and uh, they don't give up. They, they never sort of see die attitude. Um, so it's no walk in the park for us. Um, you know, especially with, you know, they usually they, they bring a good fan base, a, a good loyal fan base, so they're expecting to hear from uh, their supporters. And, um, you know, they'll be cheering them on all the way. And, and you know, they, they're coming back from a break. They've lost some key, key members from last season. Uh, Barry Spores, their coach, has um, managed to sort of regroup and keep that team going and uh, keep them alive and fighting so you know we expect um, expect them to bring some some fans cheering on our team and we uh, we expect a fight from uh, Stratton this weekend so it's uh, again it's no walk in the park for us. And uh, final question, um, so like a team's discipline has been have sort of been a bit noticeable of late in recent games like we're taking less penalties has that been something that you've sort of worked on or spoken to the team about? We've spoken about it. You know, it's a physical tough league, and uh, you know, if, if people are, are going to, you know, they're going to be physical for you. There's no need for retaliation. It's part and parcel of the sport. Um, you know, if they're going to give you a love tap or a little stick or whatever, you know, get on with it. That's not hurt yet. Um, you know, let's. Um, you know, we, we, we've been working on our power plays and um, trying to get them together um, if a little bit, you know, counts. So, uh, you know, you're going to get the situation in some cases when teams are going to try and bully us. Well, you know, if we don't want to fight, we don't want to fight, you know. We, there's, there's, there's certain players in the league that they're, they're going to try and intimidate us and that. And uh, it's not, you know, so far it's not really working. So. Um, you know, we just can carry on looking at, you know, working on our game and, um, you know, if, if, if teams want to try and push us about, they can push them about and we can match them, but uh, try and keep our discipline, keep our heads and, you know, win the game first and foremost.